what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel now this is something we haven't talked about before and i don't know if you guys have noticed or not but storm collectibles is a highly collectible 1 12th scale set of figures they're typically in the 7 to 8 inch scale so they're not really 1 12th scale but it's what they market themselves as but they first entered the scene with the mortal Kombat license in around 2017 they started with a bunch of the Sub-Zero remakes and then things based off that body like Reptile, Scorpion, so on and so forth. But it appears, if you go to their website and you look, that Mortal Kombat isn't the main thing on the website anymore. If you go and type in Mortal Kombat, or we'll just type in Mortal, not a single thing shows up okay like, well that's weird okay well you go back to their home page and you scroll down you see their products products are really good and you see they have street fighter 5 tekken 7 gears of war capcom bandai namco entertainment snk and sega what are they missing there mortal kombat now what is the other toy company that has been on the scene insanely like they've been a company for years don't get me wrong so many years but they recently got into the 112 scale game a couple years ago they started with universal monsters now they're doing like serial ad icons but what are they most famous for street fighter jada toys now i've been singing the praise of jada toys ever since i first bought one of their figures that being fei long and then i've gotten the rest of the street fighter releases i've done news videos on them i have bought majority of their universal monsters even though they do not have the license to that anymore and i'm excited because by the looks of it and if you hear some rumblings jada toys is going to be the new partner of street fighter no, not Street Fighter, <laughs> Mortal Kombat. And if that's the case, that is pretty freaking sick because that's what a lot of people want. Because the Mortal Kombat license has so many unique characters that Jada Toys can knock out of the park. And if we go over here to Figure Realm, let's just take a look at some of the things that Jada Toys could knock out of the park, especially with their, like, massive success with the street fighter line this is a fighting game of course i don't think they're going to get tekka because bandai seems to have a pretty strong grasp on that line with their game dimension series and they're only like four figures deep so far but if we look over here at all the i think they said that they've made 47 figures for the mortal kombat license since 2017 which doesn't sound like a lot when you compare it to like marvel legends or like Anything from Hasbro, honestly, or Mattel with the wrestling figures. There's so much that they can do. But these take a little more time, more unique sculpts. It's kind of harder to do. Also, the Storm Collectibles price point is not easy for everybody to hit. Whereas if you're doing like these Bandai Tekken figures here, they're like $20, $25 a piece. The Jada Toys figures are $20, $25 a piece. Even if you want to pre-order from somewhere, the most you see it is like 30 bucks, unless somebody is scalping it, which is pretty insane compared to Storm Collectibles where the base price is like 75 bucks. And that was before the price, hack, the price hike a few years ago around the pandemic. They were already that high and things just keep getting higher and higher. Now, they do do a lot of uh, deluxe figures and we will look at those, but just off the bat, you could do Baraka, and it would look absolutely insane. I'm not familiar with Cyrax. I'm not going to lie. Or Cyrax, I'm not sure. But then you have Ermac, which is on that same base body, where if they knock it out of the park with Ermac, they could do Noob Cybot. They can do Reptile, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. So many potential things. Now, I would like to see them tackle something like Goro. I think that would be an amazing thing for them to tackle if they do end up getting the license but there's like it's like an 80 percent sure that they're getting it that would be cool to see how they would tackle this and still keep the articulation while keeping it a proper size and in scale with the rest of the lines that's just something i would like to see but that's just my opinion luke kang they could knock luke kang out of the park like just based off parts they already have almost i think that would look good also, Storm Collectibles did a lot of bloody variants for, like, Comic-Cons and stuff. 
I mean, it's cool to get exclusive, but I do think that is some sort of a cop-out. There's Noob Cybot, another one of those you can use on that generic base body. Same with Rain, like I said, Reptile. Like, they released three different Reptiles. They got their money's worth out of that, and that's just with one character. And then you see how many Scorpions they released. Five. But, like, Raiden, another classic character that would lend itself well to the JD Toys, like, construct. I really and truly think that, where are we at? That that would be the way to go. You have Sector, kind of like Syrax. Shiva would be cool. It's like the female version of Goro. Smoke, another person you could use on that base body. Shao Kahn, you could even throw in the throne. We'll go to the next page. And there, is that another smoke? I don't recognize that smoke. Hold on, these ads are getting ridiculous. Uh, I don't recognize that one. But then, like, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six versions of Sub-Zero. So, since they don't have the license anymore, which is, like, it sucks, but it's actually really cool when you could think of the possibilities. Somebody like Hasbro could even pick it up. I don't know how they would do with the line, but I'm betting on Jada Toys since that's where everybody seems to be. They have the unique sculpts, they have the price point, they have the market already with the Street Fighter line, and I think that is going to be the way to go. So, I got, I'm, I'm it's, it's pure speculation, but signs are pointing towards Mortal Kombat signing with Jada Toys. And if that's the case, that's going to be pretty freaking awesome. But that is going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, take it easy. Mm -hmm.